All right, so like I said in my last video, uh, Civic SI update four, um, I couldn't get my uh, my car registered today, so I decided to do my serpentine belt. Cause as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's little cracks in the belt, and I was supposed to get this done last week, but uh, supposed to get it done last week. But I, uh, it ended up being too cold, so we're gonna get it done today. Really quick before I do this job, um, I, you know, I was, I was searching the internet, uh, you know, looking at forums, YouTube videos, trying to figure out how to do this job, and uh, I couldn't find really anything to step by step. So um, I decided that I was gonna make my own, and I found this sweet manual online. And uh, I'm just gonna go with what I know from that. So, I mean, it's actually a pretty easy job. So, I wanna help you guys out who don't know really how to work on this. So, stay tuned. All right, so before we get started, some things you need. You're gonna need a uh, 3 8 drive, preferably wrench with a 14 mil socket. Make sure it's a six because the 12 are known for like stripping bolts. Uh, you're gonna want a 14 mil wrench with a bigger breaker bar for leverage. And obviously you have your um, you have your idler pulley and then your tensioner pulley. I got these from, uh, from Rock Auto because the Honda dealership wanted to charge me like 150 bucks or $200. And then you have, I'm using a Gates belt. Um, as you could see the two, I heard Honda's like the best belts. Honestly, like, it's hard to tell, but they literally, they both look the same, like, when it comes to, uh, um, quality build. So, I'm gonna use the gates for now. If, we'll see how it holds up. If it does shitty, then I'll just slap the Honda on, so. Alright, so like you, like you can see I have here, you gotta, you gotta take your wheel off first. Make sure you got your jack with your jack stand. And uh, after that's done, come up top here and on top, this pulley right here is your um, idler pulley. And then the pulley right here, if you guys can see, but that's the, that's the tensioner pulley. And these are both 14 millimeter bolts. You got one on the top and then one on the bottom there. And uh, the belt runs, it's on about... I don't know, there's like maybe six pulleys down there, so let's get this started here. All right, so since I didn't feel like going out and buying a specific pulley wrench, um, you can easily do this method right here, which I actually just like came up with. I was like, how am I gonna do this? So you wanna take your wrench, your 14 mil, put it on your, it's super hard to see that down there, but put it on your, um, your tensioner pulley right there on the 14 mil and um, it would go on again all right so that's on and now you want to take your your breaker bar this is a uh, captain's drive and simply just plug it right at the top right here and all you literally have to do is pull back towards yourself so that you release all the tension off the belt. And you can see the belts coming off. All right, so that should be easy to take right off. All right, so we have the old belt off. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the, uh, the old one and the new one here. All right, so here's the new belt. As you can see, looks really good. And then here is the old belt. There's all these little tiny cracks in it. Definitely good to replace. Because if that breaks on you, it's not going to be a fun time. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your ratchet with a 14 mil. And you're going to take the idler pulley off here.
All right, so once you have your idler pulley off right here, you're gonna have, you're actually gonna need a 12 mil, I believe. Let's see. 12 mil, yup. Yeah. All right, and then you're gonna have, you're gonna take out this nut, or this bolt. There's this bolt, so here, I'll show you. Take this out, this out. Lift this back up towards your uh, your intake manifold, and then you have there's this one that's got to come out, and then you're gonna loosen. You're gonna take your um, your tensioner pulley off with that 14 mil bolt, and then there's another 12 mil behind this whole assembly here. So you don't have to worry about that if you're not replacing yours, but I want to get mine done because as you can see, this pulley looks shot, all rusted and shit. So, all right, so I got my my tensioner pulley off, and uh, it was really a really tight fit in there. This bolt in the back, that 12 mil I was telling you guys about. Let's see if I can bring the camera back there. If you can see it. All right, so it's right, right there. That is going to be an absolute bitch to get to because, as you can see, it's in a really bad spot. Like, hopefully I have an extension that will fit back there. So, Alright, so I managed to get that last bolt out of the back side there. And I forgot to tell you, there's one more right in here. 12 mil. And then once you get that out, this whole thing should come right out. Alright, so guys, I know it's hard to see right now, but um, as you can see, everything is on. I got the belt, and let me tell you right now, that belt was an absolute nightmare to get back on. It was really hard to, it took me some time. So, um, just a little bit about torquing. Uh, this bolt right here on your, um, on your idler pulley, it needs to be torqued down to 41, and that's, that's this one right here right there so that needs to be 41 and then um all the ones around your like for example that one right there all the 12 mils those need to be 16 as well as the one that was in the middle of uh that was in the middle of like right where the uh idler goes on so after that make sure your belt's on um all the way and we're gonna crank her up and see how it sounds all right so started her up uh, there you have it guys right there all good to go so all right thanks for watching and uh, yeah stay tuned for my update part five hopefully I'll have a register next week peace guys